All right, guys, finally, we're going to be doing a video on this air conditioner right here. It is a DC air conditioner, and it's roof mount, and it's one of the lowest priced ones you can get now. And we're going to look inside, and over here, we have a split unit, also DC. Both of these are 12 volt, so stay tuned in this video. Um, Kira Marie, hello. Hello. Uh, stay tuned in this video. We're going to show you all these different parts and we're going to fire this one over here up and get it running and show you what it does. This is impressive. And the Power Queen batteries, they're on sale. <laughs> I'll put a link to there. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. y'all seen that if y'all want to donate to the channel to help please do um i'm not working like i used to so if you have an opportunity to do it and most of it goes to her but if if you can that's a good thing right now we have these two power queen these are the minis with the pouch cells in them and um they've improved these better frame better bms so the power queen's the ones you really want to get most of your power from li time and power queen these are the same thing some of the other ones look similar and you're using some of the same parts but the power queen the li time amper time look below the video i'm going to put a link to these they're very strong now here's the other, here's the main character in the movie i don't know how you pronounce that whatever the hell it is it's really good and this is the same thing that you're going to pay 15, 1800 bucks for with a branded name on it. But Tree Logo also sells these for a couple hundred more. But I'm going to put a link below the video to this guy. This guy right here. He has these models and he has these models over here. Right now she's getting all our parts together um, to get us all set up. So this model over here is also 12 volt DC. I'll let you look inside there. And it has eco mode, and it's this is about 9400 BTU, um, a 9200, 9400, and comes with a line set, comes with simple instructions, really easy. And but you will need what she's dealing with right now, which is you will need refrigeration parts. You won't need all what I got, not quite. And you'll basically need a a pump and a line set like I use, and of course, you'll need uh, you'll need a tab. Um, you'll need uh, sorry Freon. Okay, so so you will need a can of Freon. Now you'll also need a scale because you're only going to be putting a few ounces of this in. Do not do not put the one in with the oil. It already has oil in the compressor, and this is a 12 volt compressor in these things. This is not what you think. Most of these people selling these have a inverter inside. And then it runs a 120 volt compressor, much cheaper, but they charge you a hell of a lot more. And if all those inverters get a leak, water gets into them, they're done. And they're in this part. So don't, this is genuine DC powered. We're going to show you that. Oh, wait. And remember kids, electricity will kill you. Uh Oh, what'd she say? Electricity will kill you. That's Look a, at that psychopath. Oh my gosh. Guy with a knife. Be careful, kids. Electricity is dangerous. All right, so um, we've got all our solar panels are all set out here for all our little portables. On and display. there's the little oopsie. And we have an all powers that she just got. She just got an all powers. And it is sitting right over there on top with my equal flow sitting on top of it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going through all these. Okay. Now, here is the unit. This, this, this here is going on her chevrolet pickup yep, she has a go on my chevrolet and um it's because it's it's way too it's way more expensive to redo the um, air conditioner that was in it and doesn't work 
than it is just to put this on the roof. And besides, I can run up without being in there and my dogs will be fine. Nobody needs to break my windows in. You see that? Um, there's, there's, uh, when, when you're in the summertime and if you have pets, mm -hmm. you can't you leave your car running, they'll steal it. Okay. The second thing is, is people might try to break your window. Especially if you have a pet with anxiety like Ida. Yeah. Well, especially if you have one that's, look at this. I mean, she's just completely losing her mind. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Ida, Ida, lose your mind, hun. What? Look okay. good for the people. Look good. Make that look good. Okay. Since, um, just as a little side note, this can also run on solar and batteries. So if you're like us, you like to adapt things to fit our lifestyle. This is about 600 watts and the solar is like. About 1200. Tw yeah. About 1200, about yeah. twice as much. So, um, so if you're like us and put solar on the roof of your. We do car. solar everything. <laughs> so um, this is at, at full power, at full power, you're using about 600 watts, 625. So 625 watts to get an 8,400 BTU air conditioner, that's that's nothing. Um, but the, the cool thing, the cool thing, huh? This is cold. That's cold, isn't it? It's cold. So the cool thing is that this right here is enough to handle all night long. Seven and a half hours, 7.75 on low. So you'll be able to run that. Now, if you use three batteries and 1,200 watts of solar, yeah. then you could, it'd be a no-brainer, right? Yeah. All right, and the same way over here, this one here would be probably three or more batteries and about 1,500 watts of solar. But what does it give you? I bet you realize that $150, $200 a month for an electrical bill to run an AC off the grid. Well, you solve that in about 10 months. Right there. And then you don't keep paying it, right? Yeah. So in this case here, our truck will have 600 watts of solar on its roof. And of course, it'll have the thing here, the uh, the charger that is, D that is DC to DC charger for lead acid on one side from the, the truck battery and the lithium batteries, which is this, combine them together and allowing the truck to boost the charge and then the 600 watts of solar to maintain it as it's being used and parked with beautiful puppies in it, correct? Yes. yes. Gorgeous puppies. Gorgeous puppies. Border Collies and McNabs, man, you can't get no, well, your puppy, if you have one, it's gorgeous. Yes. All right, so let me get back over here and we'll get you more on this detail right here. I I have a Power Queen DC to DC. So this allows me to take the input from the truck, right, that's solar. So the input from the truck, the output goes to the batteries, the lithium batteries, and this settles that up to where your lead acid and your lithium will work together. And solar input, we're, we're gonna put solar on the roof that it has a, camper shell on it and we're going to put solar on the roof that means that we have about six hours runtime without even firing the truck up off these batteries now if yeah. we run the truck at all it's 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 indefinite um and the fact the reason we're putting it on a 1990 chevrolet king cab pickup is because one the ac core was completely taken out of the whole truck i mean it's, it's going to cost two thousand dollars to redo this truck it ain't worth it i mean well it's worth it to her mm -hmm. But this, we got. This is a treat. We got this for about seven and a half, and a two hundred and fifty dollars off, because of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not me, not not chop liver here, but because of her. <laughs> they think so I'm special. they think she's special. Her short truck, short bus truck. So, um, these two power queens I picked up, and. They're going to be on sale, and I'm probably going to try to get a few more for some other things I'm doing. But, and look below the video for that. Now, all this stuff here that you can get to run all this, it will be in that length of them batteries. We're going to remove the top of this. This is a DC powered. A lot of these you will see built in an inverter. So you're, you're getting tricked. It's not a real DC air conditioner. You'll pay $2,000, $2,500 for it, but it's not a DC air conditioner. Battery power, you might as well just buy your freaking inverter. But the efficiency of them sucks really bad. This one here, though, it runs literally on the two power queen. We got four hours on high power. We got on eco power, seven, almost eight hours on eco power. 
So high is only about 35% more cooling. So this is a about 6,800 on EcoPower and 8,400 BTUs. So if you, you could put two of these on a full 43-foot school bus without doing a whole lot of insulating, and they'd do a hell of a job. You could put one on a regular 25 foot RV and it would basically do the same thing because the ASHRAE versus the SEER, those 13,500 BTU air conditioners they put on an RV, they're really only eight grand, 8,000 or that's it. They're, they're really no, no more powerful than this, but you pay through the nose and they're, they're horrible. Their efficiency is horrible. Um, if you convert from a battery to an inverter to run one of those, you need a lot. Even this 2,000 watt all power, 1,800 watt here, they'll barely even start one of those. No joke. And they'll only run them for an hour or so if they can't start them. But this, no soft start needed, doesn't cause you problems at your campground. Your converter, if you take your converter, so you say, I have an RV. I don't want to spend $300 on another converter. Just get that. Yeah. Get that right there. That's I hear, it. I hear they're having a little sale. Yeah, that's what I was saying yeah. earlier. So get that. You don't need anything else. You run your converter just like you would from your alternator battery of your pickup. You run your converter power through that. This to your lithium battery bank and then add some solar. Right there. We have some more that are going to be just like it. They do similar things, but they're just different grade and different settings. But this is a simple one. This is affordable. This is really cheap. So it'll do what you want to do with this from your RV. It'll take and allow you to have lead acid batteries up front and lithiums under the couch. And they'll work together. Right there. All right. I'm going to go ahead. We've got this fired up. And as I had said in the previous video, this does have constant on ready power. Ghost load. And the ghost load is about five watts. That's it. What's ghost load mean? Ghost load means keeping the electronics ready uh -huh. to come on instant. Oh, okay. Instant on feature. So it's kind of like power that's not being used, but it's still being used. A little tiny bit, right. So it's kind of like a match versus a bonfire. Okay. okay. So that's using a match. So when you see that point, there's a decimal. Point 40 is about, I don't know, five and a half, six watts, something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Not much when you consider you've got what 1280 watt hour in this 1280 watts so you two batteries together you could probably let hooked up to this for i don't know three weeks before the batteries would really be upset about you okay so now we have a remote that goes to this we have i'm going to get down here it's very hard for me to do we have a control panel now that control panel here now i just popped it out it's got a little tab you see the tabs and a little fuse in there. And this one here is just a control panel. So it's just operating the functions up here. This is real simple to use, but it is in Celsius. It'd be nice if they'd make this in, in uh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, but basically 25 degrees and you're doing good. Okay. Now it has pretty simple functions and the book, the biggest thing lacking on this whole dang book is telling you your whole cutout. And these people are going, well, it'll fit a 14 by 14 standard RV cutout. But what if you don't have a hole in your roof? Well, it's simple. Here's your bolt pattern right here. You go an inch further in each direction from that bolt pattern. That's it. An inch further in every direction than the bolt pattern. You cut that hole. If you do not have more than a two inch thick roof, you go an additional half inch. And that's it. So as this sits right now at about six inches apart, you're looking at a grand total of about eight and a half inches this direction. And this one here, I think is about 13 inches. So you're looking at about 15 and a half this direction. That's how big you got to do. Now where this is at, because this is about that thick. So everything will be ducted and there's the gaskets for it. Everything will be ducted and it comes with a slew of freaking foam. Uh, that's all that's all this just the one back there that's it this one didn't need any it's a split now this one will pull about 37 amps on efficient um, eco right yeah. eco rating whatever yeah. and it'll pull 49 to 52 on high but 
you cool it down, switch it to the economy mode, and it'll keep a semi-cab ice cold, even the really big ones. And we had a friend of ours that actually put this on a, a, a burrow camper, a casita burrow, whatever, that's 15 foot long. And he says he eco flow was too much. So that's a lot. That's a lot. We'll be showing another video of this being installed on her truck, correct? Yes. But this video here is to show you what you get. Mm -hmm. You do not get the one with the metal stamped metal frames that are all warped and bent. Those $2,000 ones. That's nice to have on. This is with the same stuff, basically, that a milk crate's made out of. You know how durable they are. So this is the same kind of material. It's very well gridded. It's extremely strong. You can see it's there's sitting on those cans right there. And it has a full rubberized roof base on it. You see that? That whole lip right there is all rubber. Okay. And a crushable gasket that goes with it. They recommend you put a bead of silicone. Okay. And I would use the Flex 230 stuff on that or something similar. All right. Check and make sure that all your bolts and hardware is completely secured. All of these points, everything, any kind of loose parts, check for make sure nothing's laying in here because we had a screw, just one, laying in here when we got it. Pretty red, common. Red flag. Red flag. That's All right. So what we're going to do now is we're, I know, they're like, why ain't he running it? We want to hear the gnaws. Um, so I'll, I'll grab the remote. And we're gonna we're gonna check check the amperage on it. So we're gonna hit power. There's that meter. And there's power. And you're gonna notice this is very quiet. And we're gonna hit temperature. Send the temperature down. It's at three p right now. So three p is pretty low on the temperature. And you'll watch that going down. That's in. That's in the. That's in the uh, Celsius range there. So you watch it go down here. The air that's coming out is coming out right here. That one back there is the intake. We'll let that run for a second. So a 53.61 amps coming from these batteries. And let's do a voltage check. DC. So we're at 13.3. Now, if you're running your truck or something and you're up around 13.8, amps will be lower because volts up, amps down. So that's her startup right there. Of course, I'm on full power. So you can see, it takes me a while to figure out where in the hell it's just got coming out here and comes out here. And then in the middle, in the middle right here is the heat. So you have the heat spot right there. Now, this does have heat. And now it's at its running. So it's running on that. And I'm going to try to figure out, looking down here, if I can get this thing on eco. Okay, there it is, Eco. Now you hear it kick down a little bit. There we go. And now Eco is running at 10.80. All right. And there she goes. Now she's running on eco power right now. So 23 amps, literally half as many amps as it takes to run it on. And listen how quiet. So the fan is running at 60%. The compressor is running at 60%. And boy, you talk about cold there, huh? Look at that. The room temperature in here is what? Here, I'll show you that. We actually let the room warm up. So room temperature is 78 degrees. 
All right, so we let the room warm up so we can make sure we got a decent test on this. And that is what eco mode is running right now. Yeah. So in other words, you can have very ice cold conditioned air at currently at nine Celsius. Blowing down on your head and you can even bring the fan up. Now it's telling you here that you're jumping out of eco mode. See that? But I'm, I'm still in low mode. Okay. And it only went up an amp for the, for the fan to go faster. Temperature coming down in here is 8.9 Celsius. And let's see here. See, it's still on eco. But it's also telling you that you're interrupting eco. Yeah, see, F5 is its lowest fan 5, fan level 5. And position three is as low as you can go. So you can go to position one with it out, off of eco, but position three is as low as it can go. And this thing is actually putting out probably a good 350 CFM. So you could air condition your car, your truck, your RV, and you could run this all night long. So if this is 25 amps, that's four hours for that and four hours for that. So basically, that's where we got this too. Seven and a half hours, or 7.75 hours is what we got. We were able to run this on Eco in here. Made a big, huge water everywhere, but we had to clean that up. But it ran all night and ran 7.75 hours before the batteries shut off, which is amazing to so, think about it. DC powered. Oh, and, and if um, you do put this on a truck, may I suggest a sticker warning all Karens that and, that, and Kevin's. That the, yeah, Karen's and Kevin's that the big white blob on the roof is an air conditioner. Yeah, don't break my window. My dogs are fine. Okay. <laughs> so this this is an, an open review of the um, hard to pronounce scrambled, typical scrambled Chinese name of a product, Altiquip. Altiquip. Oh, put an A there. And O, Autoquip. There we go. It's just a misspelling. Yeah. Oh, but y'all look at the build of this thing. It's really nice. I mean, this freaking thing is, and it's only about 800 bucks total. So, I mean, you look at these that are 16, 1800, 2000. There's one brand out there. It's basically the same damn thing as this, but it's got an inverter inside of it that people are now complaining about it going bad, oversurging, all kinds of problems. It don't have a 12 volt compressor. That's warm. It don't have a 12 volt compressor. And this one is the real thing. This is really 12 volt. It really does. It'll run on 24 also, but this is 12 volt. And I mean, you can tell by the gauge of the wire, this is six gauge, it is 12 volt. It has a uh, switch here. If you wanna disconnect the heat function because you're afraid you might push it, live, live in the south, you can. Now, as far as heat, this is the equivalent of a 1300 watt electric heater the equivalent in output if that's sufficient then good this is the equivalent of an 8400 btu air conditioner this is an equivalent to y'all see i did this change this in my shop to that big toe sod right there all right now 25 amps so so basically 26 let's go with 26 times 12.8 volts What's that? That's the wattage. That'll give you the wattage. So how many 8,400 BTU air conditioners can you run on basically about 325 watts? None. Why is that? You don't have all that conversion garbage going on. So if you wanted to take this and mount it like we have it here on some post, outside the window of your house this is no no kidding you can extend the length of all of these wires indoors build you a, a plume to run down to where you have intake air and above it your air build it basically it's a double tunnel and come in a bottom low part of a window only say five inches tall and a foot and a half wide 
and you can mount this outside your house and run 12 volt air conditioner at, as equal to that big thing sitting over there. Okay, that big tow sod. Now, those most efficient built inverter technology. This one here uses more power and we're gonna be showing a video of this one probably going on her Winnebago. So we're gonna be showing this one here and because it is, it is 9,000 plus, it's a little more powerful, but it's stronger than a 15,000 roof mount in ability. And where in the hell are you gonna get a DC powered split unit like this, all cost involved for under $700. I'm talking about even buying you, if you don't own the stuff I got here, the pump, the gauges, if you don't own this stuff, okay, you can buy every bit of that and this and that, watch a few videos, and within minutes, for about $800, have a DC split. That mount on the outside wall, that's mounts on the inside, just, just like you see. So a $799 Pioneer 9000 BTU air conditioner, well, you just did it with DC, run straight on solar and batteries. No inverter required. Got it? So look below the video for the links, correct? Yep. And y'all support her with those buy me a coffees and Ko-Fi thing. She's using it. She's using it very well. Okay? Good. To a lot of good. And we'll be back with a lot of these videos pretty soon. And let's see here, that thing timed out. Just sitting here running, 25 amps. Those other ones run about 36 amps and produce no more cool because they have to convert 87% efficiency means 13% of that money right there that you spent goes up in inverter waste. That's all straight 100% DC battery. There it is, guys. We'll be back with a video later, a few weeks, installing it as soon as it's not 130 outside. Yeah. And goes on her truck right yep all right and a little update for you guys i'm gonna do a quick update if you're still with me other than item a two months now the 3200 watt inverter heavy loaded no problems whatsoever you're four on that big huge sun gold no problem whatsoever not a single failure here everything got done right yep now we're soon taking out these batteries and we're putting in these over here with, oh my God, how's he doing it? With these. So these are gonna take the power straight from the, ma the massive battery bank. And they're going to transfer it into those all day long. We will be doing a video on this pretty soon. This is the All Powers 2000. It's not the, very, the, the top grade one, but it's new. And she got this, for here it is. Is she smart? Yes. We'll, we'll find out. I'm, I'm intelligent. We'll find out, won't okay. we? Okay. Was you smart as Jeff buying those? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we'll find out. Yours, mine. Similar. And to the folks of EcoFlow, after fixing your problem, it has been a very good. We did it with it for two hours. Two hours. A lot of power in that thing. And we're coming up with some really cool 36 volt stuff, guys. Stay tuned. All right? Yep. Is that right, Kara? Yes, it is. All right, guys. We'll see you.